Tuberculous laryngitis is a rare, yet serious condition caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis infecting the larynx. It often occurs as a secondary manifestation of pulmonary TB and can involve the vocal cords, epiglottis, and other laryngeal structures. TB laryngitis accounts for about 1% of all TB cases. It's more common in regions with high TB prevalence and typically affects adults, with men being more commonly affected than women. The condition results from direct extension from the lungs or hematogenous spread. Infected droplets deposit bacteria in the laryngeal tissues, leading to granulomatous inflammation, ulceration, and potential destruction of laryngeal structures. Hoarseness is the most common symptom due to vocal cord involvement. Dysphonia with changes in voice quality, pitch, and volume can occur. Patients may experience odinophagia and dysphagia, which are painful swallowing and difficulty swallowing due to laryngeal inflammation. Systemic TB symptoms like chronic cough, weight loss, night sweats, and fever may also be present. Strider can occur if there's significant airway obstruction. Diagnosis begins with clinical evaluation, including a detailed history and laryngoscopic examination. Characteristic laryngoscopic findings include a mouse nibbled appearance of the vocal folds, red pepper granulation in the intraritinoid area, and diffuse swelling, ulcerations, nodules, and hyperemia of the vocal cords. Microbiological tests such as sputum examination for acid fast bacilli and PCR testing for mycobacterium tuberculosis are essential. A biopsy of laryngeal tissue may show granulomas with caseation necrosis. Imaging with chest x-ray or CT scan is used to check for concurrent pulmonary TB. Important differential diagnoses include laryngeal cancer, chronic laryngitis from other infections, recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, and granulomatous diseases like sarcoidosis. Treatment involves antituberculative therapy, which is a standard six-month regimen, typically starting with isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol for two months, followed by four months of isoniazid and rifampicin. The duration may extend in drug-resistant cases. Adjunctive therapy includes corticosteroids to reduce inflammation and edema, along with supportive care, such as pain management, nutritional support, and voice rest. Surgical intervention is rarely needed, but may be considered for severe airway obstruction or biopsy. With prompt diagnosis and treatment, the prognosis is generally good, but complications like laryngeal stenosis or scarring can impact voice and breathing. Relapses are possible, especially in cases of incomplete treatment or drug resistance. Early detection and treatment of pulmonary TB BCG vaccination in endemic areas, and proper PPE for healthcare workers are key preventive measures. TB laryngitis, though rare, is manageable with early diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Awareness of its clinical features, proper diagnostic approaches, and adherence to therapy are critical for favorable outcomes.